Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program designed to help you integrate and heal the pattern and beliefs of apathy. This is an emotional EMDR mini course whose goal is to guide you through a process of understanding, reframing, and building resilience to this pattern and beliefs. It is recommended that you use this program in full screen mode, while sitting still and upright. Follow the movements of the ball or pattern on the screen with your eyes. As the words from the audio are spoken, notice the feelings they evoke in your body and any mental images that may arise. If your mind starts to wander, gently redirect your focus back to the moving ball or pattern. Optionally, or if you are not able to use video, you can also tap on one or more EFT points. How it works. In step one, we evoke the distressful emotional state of the belief or pattern. Note. This can be emotionally triggering. Take full responsibility for your well-being. In step two, we offer ourselves loving, compassionate self-acceptance for this state and beliefs. We then reframe the belief, pattern or state with new positive suggestions to the mind. We then bridge the mind into the new, more positive reality. We finally express gratitude for the new positive reality, taking it as fact. Ready. Section 1. Unpacking emotional experiences. We begin with a setup of the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still deeply love, honor and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I feel so disconnected, like nothing matters to me anymore. It's like I'm just going through the motions, with no real purpose. I can't seem to find joy in things I used to love. I feel numb and empty inside, as if I'm just existing. I often think, what's the point? When trying new things, I struggle to care about my work, relationships, or hobbies. I find it hard to get excited about future plans or goals. I often feel indifferent to others' emotions and needs. I used to be passionate, but now I feel nothing. I avoid making decisions because nothing seems worth it. I feel like I'm watching my life pass by, but can't participate. I remember being more energetic, but now I'm just tired. My friends say I'm distant, but I don't feel connected to them. I used to dream big, but now I can't see any future for myself. I feel like a spectator in my own life, not a participant. I remember feeling happy as a child, but that seems so far away now. I don't get affected by good or bad news, I just don't feel anything. I used to have goals, but now I don't see the point in trying. I feel lost, like I'm wandering without a destination. I used to find beauty in small things, but now everything looks gray. Section 2. Feel into this balanced, compassionate perspective from your inner coach. Maintain your attention on the EMDR screen following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I welcome my feeling of disconnection, understanding it's a part of my journey. I gently accept going through the motions, acknowledging this phase of searching for purpose. I embrace my inability to find joy, seeing it as a temporary part of my path. I lovingly accept feeling numb and empty, knowing it's a step towards rediscovering myself. I acknowledge my thoughts of, what's the point? As a natural part of questioning life's meaning, I hold space for my lack of care in work and relationships, understanding it's part of my current experience. I compassionately accept my struggle to get excited about the future, knowing it's a phase. I kindly acknowledge feeling indifferent to others, understanding it's part of my emotional state. Now, I gently hold my lost passion, seeing it as a sign of a deeper search within. I embrace my avoidance of decisions, recognizing it as part of my current state of being. I welcome feeling like a spectator in my own life, knowing it's a phase of observation. I accept remembering my past energy and feeling tired now, seeing it as a natural cycle. I compassionately observe my friends seeing me as distant, understanding my need for inner connection. I hold my lack of future vision with gentle acceptance, knowing it's part of my journey. I lovingly accept feeling like a spectator, knowing active participation will return in time. 
I embrace the distance from my childhood happiness, seeing it as a path to rediscovery. I acknowledge my indifference to news, understanding it as a current emotional state. I hold my lost sense of goals with compassion, knowing they can be rediscovered. I gently accept feeling lost, recognizing it as part of finding a new direction. I lovingly observe my inability to find beauty in small things, knowing it's a temporary view. Section 3. Visualizing Positive Change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to seek connections that reignite my sense of belonging and purpose. I am open to discovering new motivations that bring meaning to my daily routines. I could consider finding small joys in everyday activities, reigniting my passion. It would be nice if I could gradually fill my inner emptiness with self-love and care. It is possible that exploring new perspectives could bring back excitement in my life. I can start nurturing my interests to rediscover care in my work and relationships. I am willing to explore small goals that bring a spark of excitement about my future. I have the opportunity to connect empathetically with others, enriching my emotional experiences. I am capable of reigniting my passion by exploring what truly matters to me now. I embrace the idea of making decisions that align with my evolving interests and values. I am ready to engage actively in my life, transforming from a spectator to a participant. I am beginning to see the value in balancing rest with rekindling my past energies. I am receptive to building deeper connections with my friends, enhancing our bonds. I am shifting towards envisioning a future that resonates with my current self. I am open-minded about participating more in my life, finding joy in small achievements. I am allowing myself to reconnect with the happiness of my childhood in new ways. I can imagine being moved by both good and bad news, feeling more present in life. It might be beneficial to redefine my goals, aligning them with my current passions. I am prepared to find a path that gives me a sense of direction and purpose. I am choosing to focus on noticing and appreciating the beauty around me. Section 4. Bridging the two worlds from emotion to aspiration. Remember to maintain your focus on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I feel so disconnected, like nothing matters to me anymore, I welcome this feeling of disconnection, understanding it's a part of my journey, and I am choosing now to seek connections that reignite my sense of belonging and purpose. Although I'm just going through the motions, with no real purpose, I gently accept this phase of searching for purpose, and I am open to discovering new motivations that bring meaning to my daily routines. Even though I can't seem to find joy in things I used to love, I embrace this inability to find joy, seeing it as a temporary part of my path, and I could consider finding small joys in everyday activities, reigniting my passion. Although I feel numb and empty inside, as if I'm just existing, I lovingly accept this feeling knowing it's a step towards rediscovering myself, and it would be nice if I could gradually fill my inner emptiness with self-love and care. Even though I often think, what's the point? When trying new things, I acknowledge these thoughts as a natural part of questioning life's meaning, and it is possible that exploring new perspectives could bring back excitement in my life. Although I struggle to care about my work, relationships, or hobbies, I hold space for this lack of care understanding it's part of my current experience, and I can start nurturing my interests to rediscover care in my work and relationships. Even though I find it hard to get excited about future plans or goals, I compassionately accept this struggle, knowing it's a phase, and I am willing to explore small goals that bring a spark of excitement about my future. Although I often feel indifferent to others' emotions and needs, I kindly acknowledge this feeling of indifference, understanding it's part of my emotional state now, and I have the opportunity to connect empathetically with others, enriching my emotional experiences. Even though I used to be passionate, but now I feel nothing, I gently hold my lost passion, seeing it as a sign of a deeper search within, and I am capable of reigniting my passion by exploring what truly matters to me now. Although I avoid making decisions because nothing seems worth it, I embrace this avoidance of decisions, recognizing it as part of my current state of being, 
and I embrace the idea of making decisions that align with my evolving interests and values. Even though I feel like I'm watching my life pass by, but can't participate, I welcome this feeling of being a spectator, knowing it's a phase of observation, and I am ready to engage actively in my life, transforming from a spectator to a participant. Although I remember being more energetic, but now I'm just tired, I accept this memory of past energy and current tiredness, seeing it as a natural cycle, and I am beginning to see the value in balancing rest with rekindling my past energies. Even though my friends say I'm distant, but I don't feel connected to them, I compassionately observe this perception of distance, understanding my need for interconnection, and I am receptive to building deeper connections with my friends, enhancing our bonds. Although I used to dream big, but now I can't see any future for myself, I hold my lack of future vision with gentle acceptance, knowing it's part of my journey, and I am shifting towards envisioning a future that resonates with my current self. Even though I feel like a spectator in my own life, not a participant, I lovingly accept this feeling, knowing active participation will return in time, and I am open-minded about participating more in my life, finding joy in small achievements. Although I remember feeling happy as a child, but that seems so far away now, I embrace the distance from my childhood happiness, seeing it as a path to rediscovery, and I am allowing myself to reconnect with the happiness. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go into gratitude. Section 5. Preemptive Gratitude for Transformation. I am grateful for the connections I'm finding that reignite my sense of belonging and purpose. I am thankful for the new motivations that bring meaning to my daily routines. I appreciate the small joys in everyday activities that reignite my passion. I am thankful for filling my inner emptiness with self-love and care. I am grateful for exploring new perspectives that bring back excitement in my life. I appreciate nurturing my interests to rediscover care in my work and relationships. I am thankful for the small goals that bring a spark of excitement about my future. I am grateful for connecting empathetically with others and enriching my emotional experiences. I appreciate reigniting my passion by exploring what truly matters to me now. I am thankful for making decisions that align with my evolving interests and values. I appreciate engaging actively in my life, transforming from a spectator to a participant. I am thankful for the balance between rest and rekindling my past energies. I am grateful for building deeper connections with my friends and enhancing our bonds. I appreciate envisioning a future that resonates with my current self. I am thankful for participating more in my life and finding joy in small achievements. Section 6. Closing and next steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started, and consider journaling your notes about this session and any areas you'd like to explore. Be attentive to the potential reduction in the emotional weight of certain memories and actual circumstance shifts in your daily life. Note that it may take one, several or many uses of this program to completely clear or reframe this pattern and beliefs. This program and affirmations serve to fortify your inner journey toward a more empowered state. Feel free to revisit them whenever you need to. For more details, see the link in the bio or description below.